everyone. I created this video to introduce you to the Dixie State University Library's MLA style guide, which you can use to complete your citation assignment this week. There are many roles associated with citation styles like MLA and figuring out how to properly cite the variety of sources you use for your research is a complicated endeavor. The MLA Handbook, um, published by the Modern Language Association, which is what MLA stands for, is the official guide for MLA citation and formatting. However, this manual can be very difficult to navigate, especially if you're new to MLA. This is why many colleges and universities, like Dixie State University, for example, have created their own simplified MLA guides as a way to ease undergrad students into using the MLA style. The Dixie State University Library MLA Guide provides examples of MLA citations for books, ebooks, articles, websites, and other information source types. You can think of these examples as a template for you to use in this class and beyond. You may even decide that you wish to save or bookmark this website for future reference. An easy way to access the Dixie State MLA guide is to simply Google Dixie State University MLA. Here we are at the home page of their MLA guide. I'll go ahead and point out some things about this guide to help you use it when completing your citation assignment this week. The how to cite links in the middle of the page will take you to different citation examples for a variety of information sources, including books, articles, websites, and more. For your citation assignment this week, you are asked to cite a book, article and website related to your chosen research topic or the topic you've been exploring this term. The how to cite books, ebooks, and chapters page um, offers examples for book related citations. You will need to scroll down the page um, to see every example and please note that this is true for most of the pages in this guide. To look at other citation examples, you can mouse over the um, MLA menu and you'll see how to cite journals. You'll see citation examples for citing print and online journal articles found in library databases or online journal websites such as the Directory of Open Access Journals. Going back to the menu here, the how to cite websites page contains a variety of citation examples and you would use this page to guide you through creating citations for a government site or any other kind of website that you use to research your chosen topic. The parenthetical citations page provides tips and examples for in-text citation formatting which is useful when you need to directly quote or paraphrase your information sources within your research project. This is a very brief introduction and I hope you find this guide useful for your citations assignment, but please note that this guide does not cover every possible citation scenario, so please feel free to email me if you have any questions about particular sources you are trying to cite. Librarians like myself are here to help you uh, through your citation and, and formatting, formatting process as you complete your research projects. This is part of our job and the way that we can support you as um, students who are learning to research. Thank you.